What, uh, so where do you see this going with the quarterback situation? You know, right now it's um, we're probably you know between Garrett and Zach right now. Mm -hmm. You know, Malcolm's looked better than we thought he'd look, um, but probably not ready this week. Mm -hmm. So between Garrett and Zach, Zach's still coming back. Zach looked good today. Right. You know, you just you know, Coach Jasper will make a decision. You had said on Saturday that he wasn't 100%. Is he still not quite 100%? He, uh, Zach looked good today. Okay. So you, know you think I mean? he might be back? Yeah, so we'll see. And like I said, Coach Jasper will make a decision on that. But um, we'll just keep practicing. Well, obviously, I mean, it, it's a good dilemma to have, knowing that you have three good quarterbacks. Um, let's first talk about Garrett, because he's one guy that we probably haven't seen a big sample size. He's gone in bits and pieces, the snippets. But uh, would you be interested to see what he could do in a whole game and kind of get a more of a picture of his abilities? I know you see him out here in practice, but in a game it's different, obviously. Garrett's probably a true spread quarterback now. You know what I mean? The mm -hmm. kind of guys you see playing, you know, throwing the ball, little zone read, but not a ton. Um, I mean, he's a good athlete. He can run the ball, but, you know, he's a quarterback mentality. Um, really smart, competitor, good leader. And you've seen every time he's gone in, he's done really, really well. Right. He's gone in three hard situations and he's excelled. So really happy with what he's done so far. Right. So, I mean, you would not be opposed to give him an – because you had talked on Saturday, but you felt bad that you went in a different direction. But, I mean – Yeah, it wasn't anything against – I just feel like a whole team needed a spark. Right. And, you know, what Malcolm, you know, presented. But it's not that, you know, Garrett's a bad quarterback. And, in fact, if he was playing and starting – We'd go, you know what I mean? I wouldn't like, oh, Garrett's to start against Notre Dame. I mean, he, you know, he'd do well. Right. And then the same with Zach. I mean, obviously, Zach's done a lot of good things. So, you're, it was, you know, he's another guy that deserves <laughs> no doubt the I mean, benefit he, of the doubt, I guess. He deserves the benefit of the doubt. He's done a lot of good things for us this year. He's worked hard. Uh, it's going to, you know, we'll see. Um, like I said, I will make that decision. Right. You know, just see how they're going, how he feels, and. Either one of those guys, or you know, I'd feel good about. It. Right, this minus this game, but moving forward, I, I talked to Coach Jasper on Saturday. And he said he he wouldn't be opposed to using two guys in one game. You know, you could have like a thunder and lightning where you know one possession Zach's pounding them up the middle, and then a whole different type of quarterback would come in like Malcolm. I mean, that would actually probably be pretty hard on an opponent to have to, you know, because they're very different quarterbacks. Is that something you would ever thought would do? I mean, I. I Didn't you guys do that at Hawaii back in the day? You have two guys uh, playing the same game? Well, we did a little bit in, you know, in the 90s. You know, when Johnson was here, we... McCoy um, and Faye. McCoy and Faye. But, yeah, yeah, I could see that happening. You know, we'll have to see, but, you know, obviously Malcolm's a good quarterback, Zach's a good quarterback, and Garrett's proven himself to be a worthy good quarterback too, so we'll see. Right. <laughs> um, kicker, where, Bennett coming back? or where, where Bennett did... will be back. So be Bennett will be back doing place kicking. Uh, JR will still be doing the kickoffs, and Owens will be our, be our, be our punter. Right. And is Owen okay? Because you had mentioned that he wasn't available at the end. Is he, is he okay? Yeah, he cramped up. Cramped up, okay. So, or, or something. Something happened when he couldn't kick. So. Right. Well, I bet I. But he kicked today, I mean. So. I mean, in a way, this was like a nice little surprise that you found another young kicker that, you know, moving down the road, it looks like you got a guy who knows what he's doing and can handle pressure. Yeah, I, I just wish I didn't find out right before we were going to kick. <laughs> right. Where's Owen? He can't kick. What? And, right. and then, so, the, <laughs> J.R. Osborne. So, um, but, you know, J.R. has got to, I guess he has a strong leg if you use him on kickoffs. Yeah, he's done a nice job. He's a tough kid. Obviously, the moment didn't, you know, you know, make him nervous or anything. He did well. So, All right. so was it a surprise about Bennett? Because I know he hadn't, wasn't able to do kickoffs against Temple. But he did do the place kicks, but it just get worse, and you just decided he needs yeah. to need to rest. Yeah, and so he's back now, healthy, and so we're happy he's back. Right. So obviously, looking at this game, and you talked about it, the uh, you know Notre Dame is running the ball very effectively. Talk about that offensive line, because I looked at it, and the the McGlinchey kid's an All American. He's an NFL guy. He's six seven, three hundred thirty pounds. The center is really good, Mustafer. Uh, four of the five guys are returning that you played last year. And that's the tight end's really good. Obviously, Josh Adams, Wimbush, you know what I mean? It's just, they've always been really good up front, I thought. Always well coached, tough, hard nosed. 
And they, when they've run the ball against us, they've matched us. Yeah, but they, they can punch you in the mouth if they really and they want. And they matched a lot of people. But they've kind of been balanced, you know, in the past. And, you know, they, they're sometimes like, whew, you know, they're gashing us, but they throw the ball. And, um, or they're making a more concerted effort this year to run the football. Uh, it's not that they can't throw. You know, they're just running a little bit more than they've had in the past. Um, so this is a real challenge to your front seven. I mean, they're going to come in. No doubt they're going to try to pound you and, and see well how coached, you react. Well coached, good players. They're tough, hard-nosed guys. You know, sometimes you play spread people and they're, you know, they back, you know, they um, kick sliding all day and, you know, don't really come off the ball. That's not, no, they, just, they, they come off the football. They're right. physical and they try to, you know, when they block you, they try to hurt you. Mm -hmm. They're trying to put you in the ground. They're right. not trying to like you know fit you up. They're trying to knock you. You know they're truly truly trying to knock you off the ball. Right. Um, Reggie Hayes did the kickoff and had a nice return. I mean that's another kid who's got some ability and I know he's moved to slot back now and he just he showed an, an ability to that he to help you there at the kickoff return. Fast kid. Really excited about him. He's got the ability that we're looking for. Again, another young kid that the moment didn't you know overwhelm him mm -hmm. he's able to go in there and catch the ball and do well so excited for another guy that's going to step up and we're going to need him to step up this week um last but not least for me i mean you have beaten notre dame four times since 2007. does that change the outlook i mean you were here when the you know infamous losing streak was in play is do you think the navy looks at notre dame a little bit differently and that hey we, we can play with these guys you always think that with everybody I mean, if you don't, then why step on it? But we also have great respect, and we know who they are. Right. I mean, they're, they're Notre Dame. You know, last year, I remember watching our guys warm up, and I was watching Will warm up, and I was looking at Carmona and Cologne, like, look at our big wide receivers, and they're going to throw the ball. And I turned around and watched Kaiser throw the ball, and Malik, you know, and those guys, and <laughs> the ball was spinning, and seeing their big guys, like, okay, we're still the Naval Academy. <laughs> right, just, right. But they are who they are. I mean, that's never going to change. We have to play perfect to beat them, and they have to help us. I mean, that's – and I tell our guys, that's not a knock on us. That's just reality. Mm -hmm. And if you're not humble enough to accept that, we're never going to have a chance to compete against them. We've got to play our butts off to have a chance. All right. Thanks, Good. Well, you know, how are you feeling? Let's start with that. Uh, I feel better. My health is getting better, definitely. Uh, I mean, the week off, it definitely allowed me to get more in training and just do some stuff for my hip and my shoulder. So I feel good right now. Right. I mean, you have taken a lot of hits over the course of the season. I mean, running the ball, you get hit even when you don't run the ball. It does wear on you. Um, a week off, you, you give your body a chance to heal. Do you, did you sense? Plus, combined with the uh, the bye week of the previous week, I've, that's a lot of time you've had in the last three weeks. Yeah, I mean... I, def I didn't ask for it. Uh, I mean, I definitely wanted to play Saturday. But, I mean, yeah, what coaches said and, and our trainer, Jim, said, uh, you know, it would be better off if I just took a week off. But, I mean, I definitely wanted to play. I felt like I could have played Saturday. So what do you think of this whole situation now? Obviously, Malcolm came in and did a hell of a job. Yeah. Uh, Garrett has done well when he's gone in there. Um, I mean, this is suddenly a very competitive situation. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew Malcolm was going to go on and do great. I mean, he's, he's the best athlete, I think, on the team. Um, you know, he just, he just has a way of running the ball. So I knew he was going to do well. Um, he picked up the offense grade, which was surprising, the fact that he was just thrown in the middle of the season. But, uh, yeah, he did a great job. And then Garrett, I mean, you know, we put him in situations at the end of the game multiple times, and he's just done nothing but good things. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy that Garrett got to go in again to, uh, last week and, you know, do well. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trapped for those guys. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I guess – you know, the spot's never given. It's always earned, so and you got to come and practice every day and, and work for, for a spot. Well, just to say, on that note, I know you. You're a competitor. I imagine you're raring to get out here this week and prove that you deserve to be the star. Yeah, player. I mean, I, I definitely think I have to show the coaches that I feel good, that, you know, my hip's not bothering me, my shoulder's going to be fine. So, yeah, I'm just going to go out, bust my butt at practice, and then, you know, hope for, you know, a good, a good outcome on Saturday. If you end up playing on Saturday, can you talk about playing at Notre Dame Stadium? I mean, kind of every kid's dream. Uh, yeah. Um, did something you? I, I guess you've been there, right? You went with the team. No. I didn't. You no. Didn't travel two years ago. I didn't travel two years ago. I went last year 
during the uh, that was in uh, Jacksonville. Right, Jacksonville. But, but you've yeah, not been out to okay. So. Never been to South Bend. I mean, yeah, it's just. I mean, I think it's everyone's dream to just go to a game, let alone you know being on the field of a game, playing and playing. So uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a really cool experience. Um, it's gonna be wet and, and snowy and cold. So I think that's just. Makes it even better. Old school football. Oh, yeah. All right, All right thanks, Zach. Thank you. Well, obviously, you know, the coaches have been very impressed with what you've done when you've been asked to go in there, and it's tough coming in relief, you know, cold, and all of a sudden you're asked to perform. Oh, just go in and drive us down for the winning game, winning field goal. But, uh, you know, do you feel good about what you've accomplished? Yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, yeah, obviously some tough situations to go into, but nonetheless, I'm getting to go in the games, and I'm happy for that, and I'm just trying to perform whenever I get my chance. Coach had said he felt really bad because he went with his heart on this. He had a gut instinct that Malcolm was there, but he felt bad because, you know, with Zach out, he, he felt like you had earned this spot. You were the backup. How did you take it when they told you? Well, I, did, I didn't take it too hard. I mean, Coach made his decision, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respect Coach's decision. And obviously, Malcolm's probably our best athlete on the team, and I have all the respect for Malcolm. So. Really, when he made the decision, I was just behind Malcolm 100%. We just wanted to win the game. Right. That being said, Coach has made it clear that he thinks you do deserve an opportunity. Would it be nice to be able to play a full game? In kind Because of, it's a whole different deal to have a full game, to be able to you know get into a rhythm and really show your full complement of skills. I mean, we've just seen bits and pieces of Garrett Lewis to date. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a full game in, but at the same time, whatever I'm asked to do, I'm going to do it to my best ability. But yeah, it would be nice to get a full game in and get into a rhythm. Yes, well, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, what led you to come to the Naval Academy? <sighs> to be honest, it was mainly for my family. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life, especially after football. And I saw the opportunity of, you know, getting a great education, having a job afterwards. and. Playing D1 football for a great coach, I you know I couldn't really turn that one down. So, mm -hmm. I you know I talked it over with my family, and they were behind me 100 percent with it. So. Where do you think you might have gone if this hadn't been Navy? I think I saw Monmouth, Villanova. Who, who else was recruiting? Yeah, um, I think my other big one, who I was like really interested in, was Sacred Heart, mainly mm -hmm. because of the coaching staff. The coaching staff, uh, they were honest with me. You know, they uh, they weren't really. Smoke and mirrors, nothing, nothing stupid, nothing crazy. They just they gave it to me straight, and that was the one thing with here. You know, they they told me what I needed to do, what I had, what I had, and what I was going to have to do when I got here to you know be able to stay here. And that's all I really wanted was somebody to you know just be upfront with me and be honest with it. All right now, I know you also played lacrosse. What what position did you play in lacrosse in high school? I played defense in lacrosse. Right, I figured yeah. that. What, were you good enough to get some looks in lacrosse? Yeah, I was. Uh, I was lucky enough to be. You know, I had the option to go freshman year. I had schools talking to me, um, but sadly at that point I turned them down and I said, you know what, I want to. I want to do football. football. Yeah, I want to stay in football. Um, but you played four years of lacrosse at yeah. your high school. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, and if I could still play it now during the off season, I would. I would suit up now and still play. Um, go talk to Coach Soul. Maybe your senior year after you're done with football, you can get a chance. I, I would love that because <laughs> I know I always liked it because it always kept me in shape. You yeah. Know, sitting around too long, I uh, eat a little too much and gain a couple <laughs> too many pounds that uh, I know Coach Judge definitely doesn't like. <laughs> So what type of system did you run in high school? Was it a typical I formation or, I mean, because this is obviously different. How, wh wh oh, yeah. This is, um, we just ran a power I, um, mm. and I was the halfback. So I was the. the so you had a lead blocker? Yeah, I had a lead okay. blocker. And if you can imagine, he was probably the size of Jamal, maybe Daryl Bonner. Really? He was, yeah, he was so that Your lead short, blocker but, was way littler than yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but he was he was probably the, the toughest kid. They all, everybody that I played with, um, I was lucky enough to grow up with the crew that I played with in high school, and we were lucky enough to play all four years, and I, I, I still miss them today, but uh, I know they're all doing great now, and they're all seniors, which is weird, and I'm this junior. <laughs> so what's the, what was the challenge coming here and trying to be a fullback in the Navy system? Uh, probably just my speed, really, getting out of my stance, because, um, you know, it's not that big of a difference coming out of a two from a three now, but it was mainly just my speed and the speed of the game. It mm -hmm. was, in high school, I was able to, you know, get the ball, slow it down, see what was opening up, and then hit it at the end. This one, it's full speed. If it's not there, you got to make it there, and you just got to hit it. And I know that was my biggest challenge, and thinking. I tend to overthink things too, really? too much sometimes, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, last year you were third string. You got into the game against SMU, scored a touchdown, and mm -hmm. kind of looked like you were going to be right in the mix. And I think this year it was probably the competition has been tough. And oh, yeah. at one point, Nelson Smith may have moved ahead of you. I mean, can you talk about the competition at this Position. I mean, they moved Josh Walker over there. That was a bit of a surprise and added to the competition. But I mean, it's a challenge to get on the field here at that. No, spot. yeah, it definitely was, and I think it was. I think that definitely helped me, you know, for this year especially. Um, 
having that competition really just pushed me to do the best I can do. I know I, I, I've read the, I got into the playbook a lot harder than I probably would have if there was, you know, no real competition. Um, I know I paid more attention to what I had to do, my steps, little things that I needed to, you know, perfect to just even be noticed with all the talented guys that we have here. Yeah, Nelson, Josh, they're all unbelievable players. Um, so I know it definitely helped me to be where I am now. So fast forward to last week and you had the breakout game. What's changed for you? Why is, is the game suddenly slowed down? Is it your vision or you? What, what, where did that come from? Everybody doesn't know where it comes from. Uh, I know exactly where it came from. It was that front five. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen holes as big as they made. Okay. And it just seemed like everything was perfect. Um, you know, Evan, Rob, Forney, Parker, they, the holes were just, I didn't, I've never seen them in practice like that. And that's usually where you, you see the good stuff because it's practice, everybody's walking through. But it was just, all I had to do was run straight and stay up and hold the ball. And I couldn't have asked for, you know, any any better performance out of that front five. Mm -hmm. I've interacted with your dip pops on uh, Twitter. <laughs> Sal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a good Sal. guy. He, he always follows. Anytime I ever mention yeah. you, he's like, likes it. Yeah. But uh, tell me what your dad and your mom do for a living. And you know, it seems like your dad's a great guy. I saw him down at uh, talking to you after the game. And yeah, they're both great people. I'm I'm blessed to have the parents I have. Um, my dad. You're Italian, I take it. Very Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just want to make people, sure. No, yeah. Some people get it confused with Irish, but right, it's okay. okay. You know, it, it happens. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, no, nah, they're great people. Um, they're, they're probably my biggest supporters. Um, I know, you know, everybody says, you know, I've been watching you forever, but they literally have been watching mm -hmm. me forever. And it's funny because my mom, when I was little, she didn't want me playing football. She said, really? you're too soft. You're, you're too nice. You're not going to be able to play. And my dad said, no, no, he's, he's going to play. He's going to mm -hmm. play. And, All right. You know, ever since four years old now, I've been playing and I'm honored and blessed to be able to be at the point I'm, I am now. All right, and they're pretty proud to have you at the Naval Academy. Yeah, oh yeah, they're very proud. Uh, I know my mom; she's a big, she's a big part of that motherhood, brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, she loves, loves being a part of that, and mm -hmm. she loves being with all those other moms. They're, they're great, great women. Um, I know they're another one of my biggest supporters. Even, even when I don't touch the field, they're always there, cheering me up, giving me food, making sure I'm okay. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, they're, they're more proud than I think I've ever, ever even seen.